What are the best niches for you and for me to research in on Amazon? Well, there are a lot of them, but in this video, I'm gonna give you a handful of them. You can start to research today to find interesting low competition products. Let's get right into it. Now, if I've not been doing this enough, I apologize. Please give this video a like, jump down below, hit that like button, it really helps us get this in front of more people just like you, wonderful people just like you as well, and great looking people just like you. Anyway, let's get into the first product. So one of the big things we do when we're researching here is we use a lot of research hacks, right? They're very popular, we've done loads of them on the channel, and we will continue to do more as I come up with them. But what I wanted to do in this video is to give you some niches, but also give you a way of thinking about niches. So the first thing that I would usually do if I'm gonna go from a hack point of view rather than going into Amazon and looking at the categories is I would find a hobby or something people are interested in and that would give me my jump off point. And so I'm gonna do woodworking to begin here just to show you that methodology again and go a little bit deeper on it. So we got woodworking accessories. We always use the word accessories because typically that's what we're gonna sell when we are on Amazon. It's never usually the main item, it's usually the accessory, although that can change depending on what the numbers tell us to do. So as we look here, we can see there are over 10,000 results for woodworking accessories, which would make a lot of sense, right? Because lots of people, lots of different products in that particular niche. As I scroll down here on the left, there's lots of options that we can take a look at. And I don't know what any of this means because I'm useless with my hands. I'm only good with a computer. So this is why it's kind of good in a way. I'm literally looking at things. I don't even know what they do. So I'm gonna look at this uh, scriber making tools and again, I don't know what that means, but that doesn't matter because I just wanna look at the numbers and see if we can find some interesting items, but more so show you the methodology so that you can go and replicate it in different niches and get results. And we will get to some specific niches as well in just a second. So we're in woodworking right now. We're in the scriber making tools. And obviously, because we're so far down the wormhole here, it's only 161 results. You can forget that. That's not what's of interest. What is of interest are the products that are down here that we wanna start taking a look at, right? Now straight away we can see, if I can move it, this type of an item here, uh, this one looks like it's a, like a popular product, a center scriber woodworking tool. So as you can see, the BSR is kind of bad, but I'll just move it over here just as it's an item that is popping up quite a lot. Uh, these price points as well are too low. We do wanna have price points well over $10, but this is just an example, so we'll, we'll just look at it. There's a wheel marking gauge. Again, way out of range on the BSR, but we'll take a look anyway, just to see if there's anything we can find uh, that's remotely interesting. Now, this is a, a contour gauge. This is selling very, very well. Uh, we will look at it, but again, I don't know enough about it, but we will look at it anyway, so. And uh, we'll do a contour gauge. Let's open up Amazon again. Contour uh, tour gauge. Yeah, there we go. So that's interesting. So this is a screw cutting marking gauge. Again, I, I don't know if this is even gonna be popular, but we'll take a look anyway and see. Let's duplicate that. Uh, <laughs> again, I've instantly forgotten because there's so many keywords in it. So screw cutting marking gauge. Gauge. Really big keyword that I've just typed in there, but I do think that's what people are interested in. And then we scroll down, I don't even see very many of those. So that's interesting in and of itself. So we started with woodworking accessories. That was our little hack. We got in and we started to see different items. So let's take a look at each of them that we've just found randomly. Center scriber uh, marking tool. So let's just look at that. So I'm gonna go back to Amazon as well, make sure we're in all of Amazon uh, marking tool. So 150 results, not very many for this. As we scroll down, we're gonna look at these BSRs. Now that one's the best one, 18,840, which isn't bad. As we scroll down, I would say this market's just a bit small because they're all way out of range now. And also the price point's not that great. If we had seen more lower in BSR, like you know, in 2000, 6000, even a few of those, it would have been a lot more interesting. But anyway, that's a product we found randomly just from a little strategy and we know it's not interesting so we can move on. This is a wheel marking gauge. Now this particular listing, we knew it was out of BSR uh, range. So we're gonna do it here and 155 results, that's great. Well less than a thousand. Um, we're looking for less than 30,000 ideally. We will move that BSR range up soon, but I'm hanging on for the official confirmation of that. But I'm still looking at less than 30,000 just for now. Really quick question for you today, and then we'll jump back to the video. Let me know down below, what's the favorite category that you have to research on Amazon? What is your favorite research category? Let me know down below and I will pick a winner and I will send you something cool, t-shirt, something like that. Get down there, get commenting and like the video. 
video. So this one's 29, 21, uh, 15 and a bit. So what does that tell us as we look at this market? Yes, it's very niche, but it's very small. So that's another one again we wouldn't be interested in, but it doesn't matter. This is a more of a methodology lesson for you today rather than, a, oh, I'm going to find a whole bunch of products right now. It's more I'm going to give you some niche ideas. So that was the way we do the first one. And I don't want to stay on that for too long because that's going to take us away from uh, the, the lesson today. But if you want to look at the lesson underneath the lesson about niches, here it's like we're looking at hobbies, number one. That's a big thing you can take a look at. And as I told you before, if you haven't already done this, you can go list of hobbies over onto Wikipedia and it's right here. You just search it, it'll come up for you. And as you, you scroll down, there's so many here. And you can look at any of these and just type in accessories after it and you can look at the rules that we follow within Marketplace Superheroes. Now, with that said, that's a whole strategy, it's a whole video of its own. I'm gonna give you a couple of categories as well that you can look into when you're researching on Amazon. So the best way to find categories is go over to here, click on the little hamburger menu, come down, look for full store directory, and you'll get all the available categories and subcategories, the top level ones when we do that. Now, the first category is really interesting and the first niche that's interesting is the home garden tools category and within it i really like the storage and organization niche and there's and they're all really really interesting but the reason i like that is because people always need to store things now the danger of storage just to be absolutely upfront here is that you could get into an item that's way too competitive for example these over the door storage things really bad products way too competitive and, and certain products like these types of ones can be really bad as well. So you gotta be careful when you're researching these. But again, you can look at things like this. Now, I have no idea, I'll just take a quick look. So these are uh, floating shelves, and I would say they're uh, wooden flo floating shelves. So again, too competitive, right, straight away. And I'm not surprised about that at all. So, so again, while storage is a great a niche and a great one to look into, you're always gonna look in for the niche within the niche. So we looked at a product really quickly there just to see what it looked like on a competitive search. And straight away we know, wow, there's lots of different types of these. It's a confused market, it's not great. But what we always have available to us is to look at products and see what are the related items that are related to these that we could take a look at further and try to find products that aren't, number one, are not floating storage, or number two, are very different standout floating storage type products that we can go and take a look at. And in this category, we probably won't find all that many, which is totally normal, but that's what you're, you're basically looking to do. If something like this is, it's a very different type of an item. It's probably still gonna be too competitive because floating shelves, it's a competitive market. But I would definitely go and take a look at uh, this storage and organization uh, place. And I, again, you can go with uh, storage accessories to use the little hack again. And actually just come back a step as we do that, just see what Amazon tells us as well. There's look at all these different ideas, RV storage accessories for inside. Now, storage accessories for cart. These are longer term, longer tail keywords, but they're also gonna unearth more interesting items because we're getting into a lot more specific types of products. But even in these, sometimes we find stuff that's just too competitive. Now there, straight away, look, here's one there. A golf cart, uh, inner basket, golf, I'll, I'll just go with like golf cart basket at uh, 383 so straight away look it's somewhat interesting as we scroll down the bsrs now yes they're very high so they're we would like to see these more closer to the sort of 30,000 range so again that would tell us on amazon not all that many people are buying these types of items but again we can click in and what can we do we scroll on down and we can look at other items that are related to these right so even there look there's a golf cart rear seat uh, safety thing uh, I'll just open that up and we keep going across. So we're obviously very much in the golf niche right now. And that would, that you know, that makes sense, obviously. Uh, straight away golf, these kind of cart things are going to be a terrible idea, right? Because they're just going to be way too competitive. We're really looking for odd little products that relate to a golf cart because we now know that's somewhat niched on Amazon. So we can keep scrolling across and keep looking for more ideas. And there are, like, there's also things we're going to avoid, like this kind of wireless but it's a wireless speaker holder actually, so that could be interesting. Again, I'm just giving you the idea today. I'm not believing I'm gonna find a whole bunch of interesting items, but that's not the point of today's video. It's really just to give you the methodology. So let's look at this. It's a golf cart uh, wireless speaker holder. 830 results, again, interesting. It's not the actual speaker that we're selling. Price point's not ideal, and as you can see, a lot of, there's actually 
a decent amount of people doing it. Uh, so again, probably something we will keep away from. However, the BSRs are way lower. Now that is portable Bluetooth speakers, which is a subcategory. So, you know, it's not the best kind of range because you're looking more like here, which is not, it's obviously way out of range. Uh, so again, you can research stuff like that further. Point is we started with storage. We started searching accessories. We actually found some ideas from Amazon and we went in deeper. So that's one I would definitely look at uh, the home storage category. Second one is pet supplies. Obviously, pet supplies are always popular. And again, what you could even do with pet supplies really is you could like look at list of um, dogs, dog breeds even, just to kind of give you an idea of way of thinking. Uh, I'll go wiki, because I always like Wikipedia with their lists. They're always pretty useful. So you can go list of dog breeds, and you can literally start looking down through all these dog breeds. So you could go... Uh, I'm going to try to find one that's kind of a, not strange, but a little bit not your usual uh, dog. Let's see. Well, I'll just go with a Dalmatian. I know it's not all that odd, but it'll, be, it'll do for now. Back to Amazon. And you can just try the same... Oh, try the same hack. Let's do that. Accessories. <laughs> Again, immediately I saw a Dalmatian stuffed animal. I would not recommend necessarily selling those. I don't know enough about it. So obviously, what the problem here is, look, we're getting all these kind of novelty type products. And the other thing you could do there, if you're not seeing very much on this side, is you could of course do, well, what are things you already know or are, are interested in relating to dogs? Or you could come back here and just literally start looking down. And what you're seeing here is that it's actually not typically relating to, um, do to, to dog products. So again, you might even find certain breeds then. They're not all that great to search for when it comes to accessories. Anyway, we'll actually just look in the pet supplies category just to uh, kind of give you a better feel of what you can do. It's a bit more reliable than that method. The tricky thing as always is gonna be, some of these items are just gonna be saturated in nature. So what you're always gonna to wanna to do is you're always gonna to wanna to segue off of these. We've talked already in another video not so long ago about the fact that like dog cages and things like that and dog beds are not good things to jump into for a number of different reasons. But as we scroll down, we might start to see different you know, types of cages that are interesting. I saw one there. Again, look, Amazon Basics, probably gonna be too too competitive, but we'll take a look at it just to see. So again, we got a metal pet exercise play. So I would say it's a pet exercise playpen. So again, not bad, 586, but it, as well, typically this is gonna be a tricky one. Now there's different types of dogs in these, these different, in these, these whatever, cages as well. So again, you may look at that. And that's an interesting one right there. Look at this, right? We found that because we went into something we know is a bit competitive. But we've come across something that's somewhat interesting. The price points would interest me straight away. This is a heavy duty foldable exercise, but um, whatever fence. I, it's kind of hard because there's so many keywords in there, as you can see. But look at the size of this thing. It's quite big. And that's why I find this one particularly interesting. It's for smaller dogs, it would seem. So even though we may not sell this type of product usually because it's saturated, a niche within niche could be interesting because it's a big product, you know? So anyway, I'm just gonna look at it really quickly. I don't think it's gonna be wonderful, but we'll just do it. So it'll be a heavy duty. We want that in there because it's definitely a heavy duty type product. Again, that's not gonna be the right keyword. It's going to, as we scroll down, let's just see if we're coming across it. Yeah, that's, uh, it's just tricky to find, but that would be the type of thing I would take a look at further because of the price point. The likelihood's gonna be though, it's gonna be too competitive. But with that said, when you segue enough in this category, you will find items that are interesting and they'll be extremely odd. Coming in here and thinking you're gonna sell any of these is very unlikely. But I still recommend the pet supplies category because of the sheer size of it. We just, this video, I just wouldn't have enough time to get into the sheer size of this category. Anyway, let's get on to the next one. Next category is going to be sports and outdoors. Now, I would absolutely be recommending you go and check out the hobbies thing we had. So the list of hobbies. You can do list of sports, you know, outdoor sports or whatever. Uh, we actually, let's take a look at that. I haven't actually done that before. List of outdoor sports. It's going to give you lots of ideas here. Uh, things like disc golf are obviously like a lot less common, although they're becoming more common now. I like using this method for sports and outdoors because it just helps me get into the feel of it a lot quicker. Again, you use the methodology in our program for sure, and you will find good items in sports and outdoors. But I always feel like if you have a jump off point, uh, we talked about that previously, jump off points are great. So disc golf accessories could be our jump off point. And again, look, we've got other ideas. Birdie bag, that could be a thing. 87 results. So that's interesting. And we might even want to just take out the whole thing just to see if birdie bag on its own 
again 191 so straight away look we just found uh, an interesting type of a, a, a thing people do we look for birdie bag and what's slightly negative about this is a lot of these are way out of range but this one here is 14,000 so it's actually not bad at all and as we scroll down you can see there's not many birdie bags on Amazon right now so that's actually incredibly interesting and if we just go disc uh, golf birdie bag we can see even more specific 104 and as we scroll down most of these way out of range and the listings they're not that good like I mean look at the state of this of this image like it's it's really bad this one's not even shipped out by Amazon this these this company are doing it themselves price points not ideal I wonder is there a room for a two-pack and something like that better listing for sure really really poor right so that's interesting then we can look at sponsor products related to this item because it's related uh that's good high disc claw disc golf so it's a disc golf retriever and again don't know this could be terrible i'm just going to search it just for the just to just for the video for the example so we'll search that disc golf retriever 105 results yet again very interesting and again, things like this, I'd be a little bit cautious because I'd be a little bit worried that it could be patented or something like that. So you're going to have to go ahead and check stuff like that. Uh, but you're just going to find lots of interesting items the more and more we, we go down the rabbit hole of Amazon. So sports and outdoors definitely is a great category, but using our little hack is always a good way to go about that one. And I'm going to give you the final category now. I'm not going to get into too much detail because this video is getting long as it is, uh, and then we'll just wrap up for today. Final category, arts and crafts. Obviously, again, arts and crafts, there's so many different hobbies and all in there. I would definitely use the hobbies hack yet again to get a jump off point and then start drilling down at specific items that's a great way to go obviously again i'm not saying the methods in her program are not good they're fantastic you should be using them but i always look at things like this as oh why don't i jump into uh the sports and outdoors today okay maybe i'll look at some hobbies in that category 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 and see what's out there then i start drilling down 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 and all of a sudden you start finding interesting items then another day you might say i'm going to go sports and outdoors i'm going to start over on amazon i'm going to look at a subcategory i'm going to start there and then i'm going to start to see what i have jump into those look at sponsored products related to those items and you'll find more and more interesting items for your list and you can do those quick checks we always do to see what the competitive nature of those products looks like enough ideas for today i hope you've enjoyed this one if you have give this video a like down below and give us a comment as well let us know what you thought of today's video what you pick up from today that uh, would be really really cool and also we gave you a little competition earlier on make sure you comment if you want to have the chance to win something so with that said as always give this video a like subscribe to the channel and if you're not part of what we do the link is down below in the description thanks so much and i'll see you in the next one